In this video, we're going to show how to do a sketch on a surface. We're going to actually uh, use the curves workbench and make a sketch on a surface. First thing is my version of FreeCAD. I'm on 0.20.2, which is the latest downloadable version. And I haven't used it a whole lot yet. So if I run into any bugs, that would be why. So first things first, we need to use the curves workbench. I'm going to show you the curves workbench. I try to check it in add-on manager, but apparently add-on manager doesn't know that I have the curves workbench installed. But there is another way to do it. If you go to the GitHub and check it out here, you can actually download the curves workbench and do the installation here. Um, from the manual uh, way to install it. So I strongly recommend if you can find it in add-on manager, use add-on manager, but if you can't, you can always go and get it from there. So let's see, what are we gonna do first? So I'm gonna go into uh, part design and I'm gonna create a new part and get a new file first. We're gonna put a new part in, we'll put a new body in. Some people have asked me why I do that. I always create a part and then a body because parts are useful in assemblies. And if you don't want to create a part and you just want to create a body, you can go ahead and do that. But if you create a part, you can create several bodies inside that part. You can create a second part, but bodies inside that part, and it keeps it all very well organized. So it's your choice. Now I'm going to just save this quickly as um, sketch on a surface. I'm just gonna save that so it's all done. And then I'm gonna create a surface. I'm actually gonna create a revolve. So to do that, I'm gonna create first create a sketch on the XY plane. I'm just gonna take a shape like that. And we'll give it some dimensions just so we know what size we're looking at here. I'm gonna make that 45 millimeters. I'm gonna make this bottom piece sit on there. And I'm going to make this dimension from here to here. Give that a, let me just try that again. We're going to give that a dimension so we know the outside diameter. So that's going to be my radius. So I'm going to make that 20, so my radius will be 40. And I'll give my cylinder a thickness. We'll call that 10 doesn't matter at all. You can make that whatever you want to do, but I just want to have a fully constrained sketch. So there we are, it's 45 millimeters tall. It's uh, 40 millimeters in diameter. So if I close that and I create a revolve, I'm just gonna accept it the way it is. You can see I have a revolve. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna put a sketch on here. So this sketch would be a logo or it could be anything you want it to be that you can create inside a sketch. You can use uh, an SVG, you can download a file and create a sketch from that. I'm not gonna go into that in this particular video, but that's possible. So if you wanted to have a, a logo of something wrapped around this can, you certainly could do that. I'm just gonna do it with a couple of circles. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the curves workbench and I'm going to create my sketch on a surface. So I'm going to hit this piece up here. This one is actually called sketch on surface. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that surface and select that button. And you see here it says a sketch on a surface. It creates a mapped sketch. I'm going to open that map sketch. What I have there is a map of this surface. So now I can put my pieces on there and I'm just gonna create a circle. And if I want to make that accurate where I'm putting that circle, I can do things like creating a center line. Let's make that a center line. So I could just say, I know that's 45 millimeters, so I can just make that 22 and a half. Now I know that's in the center. And then of course I can attach this to this using my attachment. And then I'm just gonna give this a diameter. 
we'll call it 10 millimeters just for fun. And, and then I want to have a dimension that comes from one edge to here. And I'm going to make that 50 just for grins and giggles right now. And so that circle now is locked into a position. I'll just close that. And you can see it's mapped to that surface. And now if I wanted to put another circle on there, I can certainly do it. Um, and one thing that's interesting is if I take this shape and I go back into part design. And I create another sketch and we're just going to create a hole through it. So you can see what that sketch looks like compared to a hole that I've created in it. So I'm just going to make sure that body is active, create my sketch. I want my sketch to be on the YZ plane. I'm just going to make my part visible again. Do this. Make sure I have a hole here. I'm just going to create the same hole. I'm going to create the same dimension. And it'll give us a, a way to see which order things are. I'm going to close that. I'm going to create a hole with that, and it's going to be a through all symmetric to plane. So it comes all the way through. Say OK. And then we can zoom in. And you can see there's a little bit of distortion there. And I, I found that before I cut a hole, I got some distortion in my sketch. But if I do another one now, if I go into my curves workbench again, select this surface. Once again, I create the sketch on a surface. So now I've got sketch on a surface one. I can open that map sketch. And I'm going to put another hole in a similar spot. So I'm just going to create that same construction line. And I'm going to give that a dimension. circle make that 10 millimeters and give that a dimension from there to there and it was 50 and we can check the relative distortion then so if you look, I believe that this one is a little more distorted. I'm just going to go back in here because I wanted to check that. It's 50. That's 22.5. This is 125.664. I'm going to go into this one. 125.664, 50, 22.5. So it's in exactly the same spot. And yet it isn't. So it's kind of weird. One, the one before this hole is in it, the surface has more distortion than the one with the hole in it. So let's do one interesting experiment here. I'm going to go, I'm going to make this 125. And I'm going to make this uh, 62.5. So it should be around the middle. So there's definitely a difference there. I don't know why that would be the case. I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to go with these ones. And now I'm going to figure out why that is not dead center. So the interesting part is that that is not halfway. So I'm going to just check what that circumference would actually be. Okay, so I verified that this is indeed the circumference. It's uh, 2 pi r. 125.664. And one other interesting thing is this circle is 10 millimeters from the bottom here, but this is actually mirrored. So if I wanted that circle to be in line with that circle, what I would have to do is make this 35, push my circle to the top. And it's actually the mirror. So if I close that now, 
you'll see my circles at the right height. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't come out in the center there because I have it centered in this piece here. So that's uh, a little confusing to me. If I go, I'm gonna actually go 65 intentionally to push it that way. So if I go 61, no, 59. And there it's almost on. It's not quite, but it's almost on. And so if anybody knows why that would be different, my expectation would be that if I'm in the center of this flattened out piece, then that center would be right in the center of that. And my understanding is when I'm here. So if anybody knows why that's not the case, let me know. I'd be interested to know. I will look at it and see if I can figure it out too. But for now, that's how you create a sketch on a surface. And again, if I wanted to add shapes, I can easily add a shape here. When I close it here, you'll see that shape is actually on that surface. So we can create any shape we want. And if you want to use an existing sketch, you can just copy the sketch into this sketch and it will immediately appear on there. I did find if I make a hole into this, model it made these circles come out right if i didn't it distorted them again i'm not quite sure why so interesting stuff it's my first uh, foray into curves and i think it's interesting i used to actually create parts that i would create from flat and turn them into cylinders and so actually working with moving material and ended up with pieces where you expect them to be is very predictable, but apparently this is not working the way I expected it to. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Feel free to join the channel and I'll see you in the next one.